Aloha, I'm Monica Ivey, Corporate Relations Lead for Bayer in Hawaii. Thanks so much for joining us for a special interview of Science at Home brought to you by Bayer. As schools remain closed and we all shelter in place due to the coronavirus pandemic, Bayer Hawaii is offering free educational resources for Hawaii's families. Created in partnership with the local Maui artists, we've created a coloring book as a fun and interactive way to teach children about the importance of bugs and their contributions to agriculture. Joining us by video to discuss this coloring book and these beneficial insects is Megan, an entomologist and production associate at Cunea Farm. Aloha, Megan. We appreciate you joining us. Hi, Monica. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. As challenging as these times are of social distancing, what a better time to connect with students, teachers, and parents than by video while everyone's at home staying safe. So we appreciate you all joining us as well. Megan, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became interested in books. Okay, so I first became interested in bugs from my love for plants. So growing up, both my parents were big nature lovers. We always went on hikes, nature walks, even nature drives. And it was mainly just to look at the beautiful nature that's out there. So um, when I decided to go to college, I originally went in for plant and environmental protection sciences, again, just to protect the plants that I love. And quickly I learned from my courses that plants and insects go hand in hand. So through my college career, it kind of led me into the direction of entomology and um, just understanding how insects interact with the world and how important they are, not only for us to have all the plants we have in the world, but for everyday life. Wonderful story. So now tell us what's your favorite insect and why? That's a hard one because there's so many different types of insects out there that to choose from. I really love the family of beetles. But I would say my number one insect that I really like would be um, the dragonfly. And it's not only because the dragonfly is such a beautiful insect, but also because it has such a big history. Um, the oldest dragonfly can be dated back to 300 million years ago. So there were actually dragonflies around when there were dinosaurs here. And at that time, the dragonflies were about three feet wide with their wingspan, wow. which if you compare that to your average human is pretty big. That is, so sounds like I would, I would say, the dragonfly is my favorite insect. I agree. Good choice. Uh, now, for our viewers, what are the differences, or, or basically, what are good bugs and bad bugs? <laughs> Okay, so good bugs and bad bugs, it really depends on where you are and the context of, of the good and the bad bugs. So if you're, say you're at home and you have cockroaches in your house or any type of insects that you really don't want inside, um, you could consider those a pest insect or a pest bug. So any type of, any bug that is somewhere where people don't want it or it shouldn't be could be, can be considered a pest. But more broadly within agriculture and everyday life, we will consider um, bad bugs, the insects that can eat our plants and destroy them, kill our plants. Um, some insects can even spread diseases like viruses. Um, and some insects can even damage buildings, um, other types of uh, things that we use in our everyday life. So we would consider those the bad bugs. Um, the good bugs, uh, we usually consider those people's number one thought is pollinators. So pollinators are very good for us because they help pollinate um, not only flowering plants, but a majority of our crops that are grown worldwide. Um, bugs can also be considered good because there's certain types of bugs that will actually feed and eat the bad bugs. So they help keep their populations down to make sure that we don't have too many bad bugs running around. That's really good to know. I, I see you have some cases behind you. Can you actually point out a good bug and a bad bug? Okay. Well, I have this case here, and this case is all of our monarch butterflies. Um, these are, are one of the number one pollinators in the world, and people really think about these uh, butterflies when they consider good bugs and pollinators. Then behind me here, we have a case of what we consider insect pets. So here in this case, um, you can see here, we have some moths and even some butterflies. 
And to most people, they don't consider moths or butterflies insect pests because they're so pretty to look at most of the time. But these ones will actually consider them pests, especially here on our farm, because they will lay their eggs on the plants and on the crops and their babies will actually hatch and then eat and destroy the plant. The plant. Wow. Very educational. So how does a company like Bayer attract the good bugs to eat these pests? Bear, um, especially in our crop science division, we are farming and to help our farming practices, we'll do things like grow um, a, a pollinator garden. So having all of those different types of plants that really attract pollinators also helps for those pollinator insects to then go to our crops and pollinate our crops as well. Um, we also grow here what we call cro cover crops and our cover crops will help rejuvenate our soil, but they'll also attract good insects that will feed and search for other insects and also attract our pollinators that we want to help um, pollinate our crops. That's so cool and I'm sure it helps the farm look beautiful with flowers as well. Yes, we, we do have one cover crop here that is my favorite. We use a, a sun hemp cover crop and they have they're, they grow pretty tall and have really pretty yellow flowers. So when you see a whole acre of just pretty yellow uh, cover crop flowers out there, it's really nice to look at. It sounds beautiful. Now, tell us about this coloring book and why do you think it's important for people watching? And yes, I have the coloring book here too. It's our Hawaii Backyards Bug coloring book. It's really good for times like now with the virus going on and people sheltering in place because you can just print this out at home and it's very educational as well. So we have different types of insects in here that are commonly found around the world and we have some insect facts about them. So you can share these with your kids, you can share these with your family and loved ones. And there's even some Hawaii specific facts in here too for um, people that are interested. So it's just a nice thing that you're able to easily access online, print out at home, and anyone can color it, kids and adults. Thank you. I can't wait to start coloring it myself. Now, where can people go to get a copy? So this coloring book can easily be found on our website. It is www.hawaii.bear.us. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Megan, for teaching us all about good bugs and bad bugs and how important insects are to agriculture. And everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. As we all adjust to this new way of life, we'll keep bringing you Science at Home cool videos. Be sure to download your copy of Hawaii's Backyard Books Coloring Book that's now available on our website at hawaii.bayer.us and start coloring today. Mahalo and take care, everyone. Thanks so much, Megan, for joining. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Aloha.